Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for popping in again. And if you're a new viewer, please subscribe below so you're notified when we have new videos up. We have another phenomenal guest here today. We've seen her grace our screens on the Empty and Joy celebration stage and on the award-winning soapy on ETV called Indeu. I'm super excited to share her story with you today. This is especially for people who are looking to go into the music industry. If you're sitting there wondering how to start and what the music scene in Durban or South Africa is all about, this one is for you. Enjoy the interview. Hi, this is Mabu Sinjani. I'm good, thank you. Thank you for joining us. It is awesome to have you here. Um, how's lockdown treating you? <laughs> Fantabulous. Uh, <laughs> as much as I'm an extrovert, I'm also an introvert. Man. I enjoy being indoors, so I don't have a problem with it whatsoever. Mostly for me, the better <laughs> and as an artist in, in lockdown i i feel like you guys are like literally on lockdown because you can't do anything is it affecting you guys or because i've seen you guys also have this um i know kzn is hosting a lot of shows where they're inviting artists so i'm assuming Clampe, that's mm -hmm. helping how is it in that music scene uh yes lockdown has affected a lot of artists but i would be lying if i say i'm one of them mm. <laughs> for me god has just been faithful um with provision so i, I, I don't lie before god I, i've been okay mm. i've not lacked i think those are some of the things that you, you pray for in life mm. so that when times like these come you know that you are provided for so yes um it's a good municipality has hosted well it all started with a mini gospel i icon uh discovery so i was a part of that as one of the charges so that's how i actually got into build and getting to work with umaspala we would take however when they when the lockdown started well being recognized as an artist is very very um i won't say rare but it's hard however i thank god for the opportunity to have been able to to be one of the artists that, that take place. So, or that perform with Um It was good. Um, I, I, let me just say, it was an honor to be recognized as one of the KZN artists. And they really, really have done a great job in opening opportunities for KZN artists as well. Okay, that's great. Um, to actually start properly, can we just tell people who don't know this Mabusi, Mabusi Shrezi, who is she, what does she do, um, what does she like, etc, etc. Okay, my full name is Busisi Washezi. I'm originally from, um, um, well, I won't say farmstead, but it's a you very nice originally? area called Guamapumulo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm born and raised there, then um, we moved to Stenga. Guamapumulo, yes. Uh, but we moved to Stenga with um, the family. I live in Durban, though, because of work and traveling and stuff. I am a born again child of God. Well, I grew up in a Christian family, my mom and my dad. And, um, both pastor and pastor's wife, but my head in the church as a bishop. So, yeah, um, I'm a musician. I sing, I'm a part of a group called MTN Church Celebration. And also, I am an actress. I'm also um, an IT um, engineer. <laughs> I'm also... <laughs> My profession, eh? My profession, I studied IT, systems engineering, system support, and I did telecommunications at Telcom. Um, yeah, that's basically it with my career. Well, I'm also an actress. <laughs> How could I forget that? I'm also an actress. I'm a mom of one boy. No, I'm not married. I'm single. 
This is a I'm single, not mingling though. <laughs> Just single. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I left anything there in my yeah. introduction. Why well, my age? No, I'm, I'm in my mid thirties. I'm, I'm in my mid thirties now. I'm 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 turning thirty five. Really? Okay. Yeah. You think I'm flattering you if I said you look like you're in your twenties, but it's fine. <laughs> Well, I get it a lot. <laughs> Joking, yeah, but I do get it a lot. People think I'm turning, I know I'm old. And I want to be treated like an adult. So. Yeah. Okay, okay, great. Um, tell us about your music career. Um, how did it start? Was it something that you, I know a lot of artists will be like, I started singing when I was six and my mom was like, you're going to be an artist. Did you have that type of background as well? They knew a guy who would see Uma Busi start singing and it's like a wow. No, not at all. Not at all. Well, my, my whole family, you know how it is with the church. Everybody things you know and i must say that at home we were all talented my brothers would play the keyboards and the rest of us would say my father would preach my father would also sing my mom would also sing so growing up in that family i knew that i could sing but not as much as i sing now i knew that i had the gift and the talent but i never knew that it could take me to greater heights as it has um i didn't take it seriously mm -hmm. i know that after metric, I wanted to do speech and drama at school, but I tertiary, but my dad was like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to allow you to study that or I'm not paying. That's how I ended up studying IT. So I just respected him out of that. And you know, when a parent speaks, you know, we grew up in a generation when your father says something, you know, he's right, you know, let me just follow that. But my heart has always been in the field of, of entertainment. So, and acting and singing. However, uh, with that being said, I worked for Telcom for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And when Telcom was retrenching in 2014, mm -hmm. I lost my job mm -hmm. while still in Durban. Um, I think opportunities, opportunities started opening up because I knew people that were doing baking up and whatnot. So that's how I got in. And from there, I guess I never turned back from one audition to the other. I auditioned with Lion King because I wanted to go tour the world and enjoy myself overseas. However, that didn't work out. Not that it didn't work out. I think it was just some of the prayers that I would do when I'm on my own that um, knowing your purpose and the will of God for your life will never align you with something that does not belong to you. So I, I, my prayer would always be, God, align me to what your purpose is and what your will is for me. So that's how I, 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 I got into church celebration because I went there. A friend of mine actually uh, woke me up. Wake up, wake up. You're going to auditions. I was like, no, I'm not going to auditions. With you. I said, no, you are going to auditions and I'm taking you to the auditions. Mm -hmm. That's how I got to the auditions. I was like, no, me, I'm going with Nina. I'm going with Laon King. I'm not staying in, in, in South Africa. How particular Uncle Nkulu had his own plan. I got accepted with Joyasi. And that's where I am now. With that, I also, um, having had made uh, connections with, with the people that I met, um, Lion King auditions, the likes of Ubabutu Magandlovu and whatnot, I got called for auditions, um, a How Long, How Long the Musical, that like keeps in Kente. Mm -hmm. So from there, I grew. I went and auditioned to Wimbeu. That's how I ended up with my acting role. Um, so yeah, that's just about it. But I've never, I've never... Uh, seen myself where I am with music right now. I've never ever. And what I like about that is that um, you actually started Ngogo to be retrenched for doors to be open. I know a lot of people right now are going through retrenchment and I feel like a lot of people are going to start being forced to look for other avenues, being forced to use their talents mm. and, and their gifts. Mm. They're so scared to actually use those things because we're so comfortable in our jobs. And sometimes yeah. is the intro that makes us comfortable and keeps us we with comfort zone so that we can actually go out there and, and fulfill the purpose yeah, I can it. So uh, it's actually inspiring me that you say that. Um, my next question was gonna be like big and panic dress celebration, which you've already answered. So my code my, my question then would be um, 
I know you guys travel a lot. Um, does that not have like a negative impact on your life? I know you said when you have a little boy, I've seen him, he's adorable. Um, you have a little boy and you have to travel and you have, travel, and you have family. How, how do you cope with that? Well, I'm a hustler for one. I go for what I want and I get what I want in terms of growing myself both in business and in my career, music career or acting career, that is. Uh, there's just some sacrifices that you need to make knowing that you're investing for the future. You are also a mom and I'm sure that maybe this would <laughs> inspire you or maybe you already doing it. But, okay, my, my, my son, it was not an easy decision to take to, to have him live with my mom. But knowing our background, it helped me to decide, oh, he's good, he's better off being at home with my mom, with the traveling and everything. I can't be here leaving him with someone else or with a stranger every time I go to travel, you know. So every time I, I go, um, it's exciting. Touring is exciting. I'm not going to lie. Being on just stage is overwhelming. It's something that I, I believe that every musician would 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 love to experience leave things that people say on the sides focus on yourself do you want it if you want it go for it once you get it you'll understand that it is so much it's so much fun it's so much experience there's so much to learn so much to grasp i've learned so much i've got so much in my bag that if i were to leave the platform i know who i am musically and what i want whether I want to take left or whether I want to take right with the direction of music. So I've learned so much with that. It has, I'm not going to lie, it does put a strain sometimes traveling, but then um, it makes it easier when you have investments, like, like you know that you're doing this for, for the love of it. Don't do it because you depend on it. Music for me and acting is a career as much as it is, um, I wouldn't say hobby, but it is something that I enjoy doing and I love. So waking up, having to, to get in a plane or take a bus, whatever I do, I still know that I'm going to do something that I love. So I wouldn't say that it's tiresome. I wouldn't say that it's training. No, it's just that when you come back, then you need to rest. As long as you get yourself enough rest, you'll be fine. Because it's not something that happens every weekend. So it's, it's quite nice. You get to see different places. You get to see, um, interact with different people. And coming home, I know that my son missed me. I would go home, see my family. It's still nice. I'm still enjoying it. He understands. And most of the time he would tell me, Mama, I saw you singing on TV. I would be like... <laughs> Okay, my boy, at least you're watching, so he understands. Sometimes he'll ask me, Mama, are you singing this weekend? I'll be like, no. So are you going to spend time with me? Yes, I'll spend time with you. So he knows what I do. He understands what I do. He even asks me, Mama, when are you going back on Imbeu? I'll be like, boy, <laughs> you're too young to be asking me these questions. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm enjoying it. I, I can't be speaking for somebody else but me. Hi. And I'm loving it. Okay, you, you mentioned Oti, there's a lot you learned on a joy celebration, like what you like musically, um, you, your identity as a vocalist. Um, would you then suggest Oti Omundo starts in that type of platform in order, to, like, as a, a way to start their music career? Oti, like, like learning those things in a, in a group or being a, a backing vocalist, would it be something that you recommend for someone? Or would you rather say they go into being a solo artist immediately? Um, what advice would you give for somebody that actually, that actually is looking to start a music career? Mm. That's very difficult to answer. Um, some people are just born favored to just win it without struggling for it. Some of us are born to fight for it before we get it. You know, you, you pray about it, you fast and pray about it, you seek God's face for his guidance. So I wouldn't say that uh, if you want to sing gospel and want to have an impact, it's important that you, 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 you seek God's face, pray about it. You need to know what you want, number one. Some people 
start food baking because they don't have money or some are doing it because they are enjoying doing it not because they have a vision of, of growing in it so if you have money and you know that you can get into studio and record your album then so be it not every musician that is successful started where we started where i started brother so it might work for another person it might not work for another person so mina um my part of what i said uh, i enjoyed about being um in a group i enjoy about being a group it's not just musically it's teamwork getting to understand different attitudes getting to deal with different types of people getting to to to, to understand where you stand within the team finding yourself finding yourself in the team so spiritually emotionally um it 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 entails of a whole lot of things you may even find a leader in you while you're in the team so I, I, it might work for you it might not work for you it might not work for another person so it might work for me so i wouldn't i wouldn't advise that everybody takes the route that i took because it might be longer for you i mean i went through it and where i am right now i don't feel that i've wasted time i feel that i had to undergo the training that i had to go through so that i can be the person that i am today okay and and i know you have you have a single that you did called kubekela ekujuleni can you tell us about that <laughs> um i'm not a i wouldn't call myself a songwriter but with this particular song i was sleeping and i was singing this melody I was singing, I was singing this melody. I kept on singing this melody, I kept on singing this melody. And then, like, I woke up, I started singing this melody. I'm like, no, it was around 2 a.m. I took my phone, I started recording that melody, and I went back to sleep. In the morning, I was like, okay, what does this mean? I went and looked at the scripture in, in the book of Mark and where, where Jesus was, you know, telling the, the fishermen to go deeper. So for me, it was a message to me that don't give up keep on pressing on you know eventually you're going to reap um a harvest so it was a message for me hence i just decided you know what maybe god was just giving me something to sing about i went to studio i recorded it but basically i just sang the song in my dream okay so um, i don't know how to elaborate more. <laughs> um should we expect anything from you from a solo perspective are more songs coming <laughs> <laughs> well um when i want me to reveal my secret um i would love to uh work on something no. i would definitely love to i i enjoy ministry and for me ministry has never been about making money hence i've worked hard to have a company on the side i've worked hard to to, to have it registered and and do things on the side they do not not be but not be in line with my ministry so ministry for me is what i, I just dedicate to Ungulungulu to use me for you know so every time i don't think i don't believe in just releasing music because i want to live through it i believe in releasing it because there's a message that i need to pass through whether it's an old hymn whether it's a new hymn so um, um i would like to believe that i will be working on something soon or would it for when um when it comes to release dates I, I'm, I'm not sure is it because i'm working as well so i need to be able to balance between the two but yes to answer you yes <laughs> we'll work on something okay um and acting are you looking to pursue that further are you looking at possible of course roles and of course <laughs> I love acting. Yeah. I love acting, you know. Um, yeah, let me just end there. I love acting. I'm looking into pursuing it. If an opportunity, when an opportunity rises, I will grab it with both my hands and I will run with it. Um, acting is my first love. Music is also my first love. So both of them. they are twins. <laughs> they are twins. So I, I really enjoy acting. So yes. Okay. Or pursue it okay cool and then um if you had like a, anyone say i'm here i'm ready to collaborate anyone in the world or let's say anyone in south africa an sa artist who would it be like your dream collaboration 
I don't dream like that, to be honest. I don't, I don't dream like that. Okay. I feel that, I, I feel that, I will tell you why. Mm -hmm. I feel that just because you have a name, it gives you a spot anyway. What about the people that don't have a name? There are so many musicians out there with such a great potential that have not received a platform to show their potential. Why give such a platform to people that already have it? when there's people that have got something new to offer. I, I would personally just look for someone that is not on the spotlight and work with that person in terms of collaboration. But if I were to do my own show, then I do have people that I would really, really love to work with. May I not mention names? Oh, this work okay. with. not even one. <laughs> not even one, no. <laughs> that cut a little bit. But no, um, may I not in the names. Okay. But if I were to collaborate and do it, I would prefer someone who's not, um, who's not on the limelight, mm -hmm. bringing something that that is what that is what we should be doing, um, bringing up people that are not there yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's what I believe in. If I was mised the opportunity, and I hustled to get where, to where I am, I understand how hard it must be for other people that are still there struggling to get to where I am. I understand how hard it is. So I would rather just bring up somebody and put them there and tell them use a the platform. Find yourself. So we, we can safely say you actually, it sounds like you are quite passionate about seeing people grow, which is a, a great um, quality, I can say. In the, in the music industry, we know because they don't want other people to grow. They want all the fame, all the events to come to them. So it, it takes a special... If you're doing it for money, mm -hmm. if, if you're doing it for money, then it will apply a certain level of selfishness. Mm -hmm. So in order, I've learned, this thing is, is spiritual than, than physical. Yeah. One really, you know that the more you sow a seed, the more you get. People don't understand the harvest comes because you've sown. When you don't sow, you don't get. So in my believing in people is the same as, you know what, I'm planting a seed here and when it grows, it will work for my good. It's not even about that person. It's about my growth, believing that I will grow because. So yeah, it's not about money. It's about investments. Invest where you see potential. Invest where you see your e growth is going to come to you. Harvest is going to come to you. So I believe in that. I don't believe that I should be competing and contesting against people in order to get to the top. There will be a stampede and people will die. Not just physically, but emotionally and, and otherwise spiritually as well. We end up speaking bad about each other because we are so much focused in, 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 in competing with, with against each other rather. So I don't believe in that at all. Okay. Um and and for somebody that's at home right now, you lock down, they have passion for music, they want to be a musician, but they don't even know where to start. Um what would your advice be for them? Ooh. Actually I get that question a lot. Mm. I get that question a lot um, in my inboxes. It's hard to say. Just because you can do it, it doesn't mean that you called for it. Just because you can, you can move mountains, it doesn't mean that move mountains. I mean, that's what I believe. What might work for me might not work for you. Just because you love it, mm -hmm. just because you have a zeal for it, it doesn't mean that you, you are gifted for it. Talent doesn't mean gift. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So just because you can preach, it doesn't mean that you should be a pastor. That type of thing. But if someone wants to be a musician, know what type of music you like first. Understand your voice. How do you understand your voice? It will come from the type of music you like. Then you'll know if you like Jill Scott, then most likely you are going towards the side of jazz, if I'm not mistaken, yes. If you like uh, Kim Burrell, then you know that you like them ribs and raves, you know? 
it's the type of music that you listen to that will enhance you because it's not easy to go to an audition and get taken lay favor of god applies there so now um if you want to be a, a musician one day listen to good music invest yourself into music learn teach yourself home 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 school is 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 is, is important go to youtube find out what people do to 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 to, to work on their voices listen to music i'm not saying copy what other people are singing are singing but listen to music you learn from listening from other people so that's just me when opportunities rise don't be choosy go the more protections and more more people you work with in life the more you grow and get to understand the industry better before you know it it will give you um, an open perspective of whether you want to continue whether you want to pursue or whether you want to withdraw and focus on something else okay so like you said do you you have a business on the side sorry Yes, I'm here. Okay. Like you yes, said, you have a business on the side. Is that something you'd suggest for, for Umundu that's starting out? I know our parents always say, no, music is not a career. Um, would you suggest Umundu actually has a backup? Or it's fine, go for music. Or like you said, it doesn't look the same for everybody. Yo, I think the pandemic, this COVID thing should have taught every artist a lesson. You can't depend on only one thing. You can't have only one income. Me having a business does not mean I have an office. I have a registered business. When opportunities rise, I put in my proposals. I do things on the side that will bring in income. Because at the end of the day, I must leave. What if music doesn't pay me for the whole month? What am I going to do then? So it's important to not just have one income, but multiple incomes. Whether you're doing what you love or whether you're doing what you don't love, work, having a salary at the end of the month is important. You can actually invest in, in a good job and still invest in music. So you might want to take music full time. That means, okay, well, I love the faith of knowing that when you're going to be touring every weekend and making money. But it's not always as it seems. There is a dry season, there's drought. What are you going to do like this one now? Like I'm saying, me the pandemic has not affected me much because I, I've not left. I've had, luckily, oh, 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 by God's grace, um, God provided for me prior before I even reached this stage. So when it hit, I was already set. But for another person, I don't know what I'm, another person might be going through. It might be worse. So me now would suggest jobs. These things, music, you might gig once or twice during the week. But it's something that happens in a, in, a, in a weekend. What are you doing during the week? Work. Have a job. F from maybe 7 to 12, 7 to 4, 7 to 3, 8 to 5, whatever. Have an income. Have an income. Some of the investments come from there. You don't get broken when you invest in things yourself. You don't find yourself selling your soul when you invest in your own projects. That's powerful. Thank you so much. That concludes our interview. And we, yeah. actually, <laughs> we hope to see you on our screens a bit more. I love your, your character on Imbeu. She's very funny. <laughs> so we, wanna, we hope we're going to see more of you in other soapies. And all the best with your career. And we pray and we hope the kinds of doors that you actually want and the kinds of doors you're praying for. Um, thank you so much. It was awesome chatting to you. Even though you said you're an introvert, I stand to disagree. I <laughs> the whole well, let's just say I spend a lot of time on my own. It helps to focus on things that you want to invest yourself in. Business, it helps you to don't always be found in crowds. You will succeed on your own, not in a crowd. And also for, for the young people I love, I love motivating young people, you know. I would, I would love to say, go back to your parents, find out what is their heart for you and take it from there. Ask them to release a blessing upon you. You see, once a parent releases a blessing, you are set for life. Instead of saying, ma, I don't want to do what you are saying I must do. I want to do this. I want to do. It does not pay. Sometimes it does not work. Find out what your parents' prayers are for you. Let them pray for you and release their blessings upon you. 
so that when you start pushing, you know that you got Ipekapama prayers from your parents. Thank it you. works for me. That's very powerful. As like my age, we have the attitude that our parents are hindering us um, from what, what we want to achieve at that time. I want to do this. And if anybody is trying to hinder me, they're trying to like, come against my dreams. They're trying to stop me. They, and we never see it from a perspective. Actually, your parents actually want the best for you. And the reason why they have these yeah. parents, they don't want you to fail. So it's it's actually very interesting. Yeah. It is something we need to consider at the age of again. And thank you. Thank you. Again, thank you for coming. We love you as South Africa. Continue to bless us. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.